Hey guys, welcome back. Darcy here again. You may notice I got a new microphone with a boom arm to go with it. This here is an Aston Origin. Uh, it's a microphone I've wanted for a long time. It's got a very unique look to it, as you can tell. Um, it's got this like really strong metal housing. It's meant to be taking a beating. To, you can research it on your own, but uh, one cool story I, I once heard was that somebody once had one of these microphones um, in their studio and an earthquake happened, destroyed the studio, horrible experience for them, but this microphone survived, so it says a lot for it. Anyways, um, with this, um, I've been... Uh, wanted to do a video to go over microphone positions. Um, I originally was playing a di uh, planning a different video first, and sorry, I, I can tell there's a bit of a uh, popping here, so I'm going to try to position myself in such a way to not put my plosives on the microphone. But um, uh, one of the things that recently, I've been doing a lot of mixing on different songs, different projects, and I'm noticing a lot of people who are recording at home, from what my assumption is, that they're getting a lot of harshnesses in their voice and I understand this well because my voice has a lot of upper harmonic harshnesses that I don't particularly like and so it's something I've battled with in my own um, uh, mixes but it's something that you need to start addressing from the recording positioning perspective um, how you position your microphone can have a big impact and um, and it, it really it has a, a fundamental uh, impact on all the overall quality of the sound that you're going to get people will be like well you can just EQ it and change it and yes you can you can use that to try and I'm really hearing those plosives by the way I'm I'll, I'll figure this out I'm this is brand new to me I'll get this mic I'll get the, the sound just where I want it but um, you can EQ some of these aspects out of your recording, but usually what ends up happening is, is the sound is so affected that you're just kind of fixing it, but you're not changing the quality into something else. You're not taking it from like, you know, you took a picture of a beautiful building like the CN Tower and you took it from this angle and you can just edit it enough that it looks like it's coming from a different angle. That's not really what's going to happen. You're just going to crop it and, and, and change its colors and stuff like that so that it looks like the best of the version that it is, but not a completely different photo. So what I have done is uh, I've recorded a bunch of different microphone positions with this mic right here in front of me so that I could demonstrate to you. But before I get into showing those recordings, I want to demonstrate the positions that, um, that you can, a couple of different positions you can try. And by all means, try different things. Be, um, you know, do all kinds of weird stuff to try to get a sound that works for you. At the end of the day, if you do something that no one's ever seen and it works, Works, no one's really going to say anything other than show me what you did so um, but here's five different positions that I tried with this microphone and positions I've tried in general so that you can get a sense so um, first off your number one most obvious position is you put yourself directly in front of your microphone like I am right now you take the logo which is usually to indicate where you should be talking into the microphone usually that they just put their logo on the front um, so you position yourself in front of it you take your hand like this you just do kind of one of those um, whatever symbol this is stick yourself in between there's your position that's your normal straight on you know four to six inches away kind of a deal usually put a pop filter on I'm obviously not doing that right now but you position yourself like this and you get a straight on recording now this is tends to work in most all scenarios but some voices like mine are a little harsher you can hear the sibilance the uh, harsh s that i have and some of the upper sounds and the tones in my voice they're just for me a little bit harsh and there's something that i'm always trying to improve on so um, some people's voices, like one of my, my, my good friends who I've done songs with, you, you'd see him as uh, Tactics featuring in, in a couple of my songs. His voice is just ridiculously easy to record. It's very like soft on all microphones that I've ever tried him on. And I can pretty much position him however I want. And it always tends to come out sounding really good. Lucky, right? But, you know, other people, not so much, right? Uh, especially a lot of females can have harshnesses in their vocals. So... Here's a couple other positions to try. Now, before I show you four other good positions, uh, or actually three other positions that are really good, I'm gonna show you two that not really good, but I you can experiment with depending on certain songs. Sometimes they're the perfect thing for a song, but don't make them your, your, your go-to. 
Your next one is you're too close or um, creating a proximity effect, which is you just get really close to the microphone. The thing that this produces is that deep, you know, um, you're on the radio, you're listening to CJLX 93.5 FM, that kind of an idea, right? Um, or, you know, in late 2020, the movie of all ages, you know, that general kind of idea is, is what it produces. Depending on the song, I got to back up, it's killing me. Um, depending on the song, this may be a really good thing. Um, if you wanted to feel intimate, right? Let's say you're singing and you just, you needed to feel super close. That might be the idea. But it's not the thing you should do for every song. It's actually quite limiting because it's so bassy and so boomy that if you don't want that intimate up close to your face, like in your ear sound, when you start to take out the bass in certain songs, because let's say it's an upbeat, fun song and you need it to just feel like, you know, happy, you know, I'm thinking of the song uh, by Pharrell right now then and it was all like deep and up in your face when you eq it out your voice is just gonna sound thin uh it's just gonna sound not as good as if you position yourself with your normal position so um use that one sparingly a lot of people just like to get close to the microphone for the sake of it don't just do that okay so your next one is positioning yourself off axis of the microphone this can be really good. Uh, I don't really do it myself, but uh, I know there are some people who use it in some circumstances um, that can help with certain things like reducing harshnesses and pre reducing like you know, plosives and stuff like that. Um, but you can also, depending on the microphone, lose quality in the sound. If it's a hypercardioid microphone um, or some other kind of omnidirectional microphone that picks all up around itself or has an extended range, then it may sound really good. But if it's your standard cardioid microphone, which picks up directly in front it may not sound good so you got to experiment you got to try with the microphone that you have now there are two others that i want to show one is that we go above and the one is that we go below so let's uh, start with the below one and sorry you're going to hear the noises of all my boom and every, uh, boom stand and everything like that for me moving this so if I position this below me, right? And hopefully I'm, I think I'm still in frame right now. But if I position this below, kind of the same idea. So, and depending on how close it is, you may get more of a, more of that proximity effect, but not the same proximity as putting your voice really close to it. You may get, uh, uh, the idea is you get a more chestier sound. A lot of the sounds coming from my chest are transferring into the microphone and you're maybe getting some less harshnesses. It just has a different character of sound, something worth trying. Now there's one more that I like to try or that I like to use a lot is positioning it above my, um, actually a little bit higher than that. Sorry again for those touch sounds, but positioning it above my, like kind of focusing on my nose so that a lot of my harshnesses kind of hit the bottom of the microphone or less of them get in there. Doesn't mean they're still not there. You can still hear them and it gets us a different tone. It's the idea of, again, the sound kind of going up. It just captures differently. So when I record myself, I like to record myself like this. It's just something that I feel gets a more even quality sound. And again, you gotta get your, your distance right. I'm obviously talking a little closer because I'm sitting at my desk, but um, you, you kind of uh, position it. And obviously, part of the reason why I've been talking for so long and haven't been showing anything is simply because I want you to um, hear what these different things are for an extended period of time. So, now let's go back to this position and jump in to the computer. So as we look at the computer here right now, we're gonna have uh, this instrumental from a song that's coming up on June 4th, um, depending on whenever this video drops, um, for a project that I'm doing with an artist named Petey. So it's a producer artist collaboration uh, project. And I'm doing part, uh, like half of my verse on one of the songs. So I recorded it in all of the different positions here. So starting with, we have normal in this greenish blue. Uh, the next two blues is the proximity, the too close in the side profile. Um, then we have the, sorry, excuse me, the above profile and then the below or profile recordings, whatever. So you can hear what they sound like. So let's first just go through, I'm gonna play them, and then we're gonna hear what each one of them sounds like. Uh, and then I'm gonna apply some simple processing and see what happens when we start to apply more processing. Because one of the things that you will um, hear from this is that, okay, that sounds, it might sound pleasing to you, it might not. 
But then when we add a little bit of processing, what does that do to it and what kind of complications do we get? So we'll analyze that in real time. But let's start off with your normal, straightforward recording. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text her girls and that phone, yo. Put down the IG, check out the pro. Make your TikTok, you ready to go. Always keep it clean, I'm letting it go. All up in it, I'm ready to fold. All right, so let's go to the next one. Lock that into your head and then let's listen to the proximity version. Girl, let's kick it on the low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text on your girls and that phone, yo. Put down the IG, check out the pro. Make your TikTok, you ready to go. Always keep it clean, I'm letting it go. All up in it, I'm ready to fold. All right, so what's the difference between these two well this one's boomier but it's also losing a little bit of its life it has less harshnesses but it also has a way more visually apparent plosive right here where it's just popping um when you when i say a p or b into the microphone kind of idea okay so let's go to the next one let's listen to the side profile girl let's kick it on a low low can't have you with fomo can't just leave like jojo Text night like girls and that phone, yo. Put down the IG, check out the pro. Make a TikTok, you ready to go. Always keep it clean, I'm letting it go. All up in it, I'm made to fold. All right, so it's kind of in the middle, but it feels kind of thin to me. Like if I were to listen back to the original. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. All right, and then go to this one. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with It sounds nasalier, if that makes sense. It doesn't sound as full, right? As natural sounding. And then again, going back to proximity. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. It does sound more up my, my face, but it sounds less energetic, right? And that's all from the recording. Right now, just to mention, like, I have no processing on the way in. Um, and they're all set the exact identical gain. I have changed the levels a little bit here um, just to make sure that they're equal kind of sounding in, in the recording. But that's also something to actually know before I go any further, which is to say that when you record at different, like, um, physical proximity to your microphone, it also changed the amplitude or the volume of your recording. They will be louder or quieter because you are closer or further away. It's just going to have different size of, of the wave files. So um, that's something to take into account. It's like they're, they're all not going to record the same. So if you have like a generic plugin preset and you just apply them, they're not equal, right? Like they just won't be. Um, all right. So let's, let's, let's go to the above uh, recording. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just sleep like JoJo. Text eight girls in that phone, yo. Put down the eye. Okay, I'm gonna compare this really quickly back to the original. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just sleep like JoJo. So listen to like the yo, yo, like that that part of my voice. I feel like the the above recording, it's a little smoother. So let's go back and listen really quickly now that I've emphasized the yo, yo part of my voice. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. And let's listen to the above. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. It just sounds warmer, rounder, not as harsh. Doesn't mean it's still not there because my voice is my voice. And, and like, you got to live with it and deal with it and work with it how it is. So listen, listen to the below recording. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text on your girls that phone, yo. Put so for this one, it sounds full and it sounds natural, but still sounds harsh to me. That's why I like the above one. For whatever reason, uh, the, the parts of my voice that make the harshnesses, I guess they're just really strong frequencies that come off of me. 
maybe tend to get lost when the microphone's above as compared to above or below. Just happens to be that case. And that's where the experimentation comes in. Don't just record your microphone one way and call it a day for every single recording. Um, like this one recording I'm dealing with, I have a female and male. The female has obvious sibilances and her S's and, and stuff like that, um, but they're actually really good. And her breath control is really good. Something to think about too is that breaths can also have a lot of, <laughs> sorry, I breathed in too much there. They can have a lot of like harshnesses that come in with those frequencies as well. So if you um, have really loud breaths and you're recording a certain way, it can be a lot of harshnesses. Now you gotta go in and delete every single one of your breaths manually or drop the volume on them because it's too annoying to listen to and just takes you away from the words in the songs. It's almost like extra words in the recording that that you're just annoying so um anyways uh the point being find the position that works for you and get comfortable with maybe a couple of positions um because they might be the right ones for this song versus that song okay so now that we've listened to this i'm gonna bring up i have uh like a preset chain going on here right and i'm gonna bring in the uh this compressor so it's a tube tech co1b um, really good for hip hop recording vocals. I've been working with it recently. Um, it's one of the upgrades that I really wanted to have, so I got it uh, right now. Anyways, I, I digress. I'm, talk, I'm talking rambling here, but I'm gonna play it with each one of these and let's see what it does, okay? So uh, let's actually unmute this and then we're gonna do a, uh, let's do a quick before and after. So we'll, we'll play with this off. Actually, I'll just bypass it this way. So we'll, we'll bypass it and listen and then we'll add it in real quick. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Okay. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text her girls and that phone, yo. Okay, let me see how, how that it's warmed it up. Every compressor has its own sound, um, unless it's supposed to be a transparent compressor, which has almost like no added sound. So it's doing something to it, which is interesting. Now let's, uh, again, these are all going into one bus, so I can just keep bypassing. Um, so I'm gonna now listen to the proximity one, see what that happens to it. Girl, let's kick it on the low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text like girls now phone yo Put down the IG, check out the pro Make your TikTok, you ready to go Always keep it clean, I'm letting it go Okay, so we get an idea. It actually doesn't have that much of an effect on this particular recording, um, but you know, it's just like good to note and see how it's going. So um, it's kind of like just balancing it out, which is totally good and appropriate. So let's listen to the side profile one and we'll bypass it. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text like girls now phone yo. I feel like it's really emphasizing the nasaliness of the re that recording. So as we're enhancing it, we're just bringing out the kind of crap that exists in the recording. Make sense? All right, so let's listen to the above recording. Bypassed. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text eight like girls now phone yo. I just feel like that vocal just came to life with that one. And there's still more to be done, but like it just sounds like it boom, woke it woke up. Okay, let's listen to the below one. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text I did that in reverse. All right, listen to it bypass because I'm like messing with my head now. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text any girls that phone yo. Put down the high. It sounds very workable. Sounds a little bit thicker and bassier, which would make sense. It's closer to my chest, um, so that would be something would have to affect in the EQ. But it sounds workable, right? Uh, out of these recordings, I feel like the normal work recordings obviously gonna work. The above recording for me is just the one I like the most for my voice. The below works well, and I I could get it done. And uh, the proximity, I could get it done. It sounds like it would be clean. I just feel like it's lacking the energy that this song requires. All right, so now we're gonna go through this all over again. Oh my God, I'm doing so much. No, well, the thing is, we gotta go through these details because these details matter, okay? So now let's bring up, uh, and by all means, I, I know that my compression's really heavy. Um, I'm gonna knock it off just a little bit, um, Just, but I'm just doing this as an example, so this is not proper. Um, so now let's bring in uh, this Pultec, okay? 
this pull tech eq is a really nice and and uh it's, it's just the way it handles stuff is amazing uh even this is just the legacy stock one that you get with uad um so just a, a highlight of what i'm doing i'm cutting a little bit of lows 30 hertz um very very little um i don't i didn't want to do anything to do too crazy because i just wanted to like add a little bit of enhancement um we're doing a little bit of dipping at uh, at 1k and boosting at uh 1.5 k um i was trialing this out before this is kind of just a good starting point of what i liked we're boosting at 8k um and um to give it some air and we're uh attenuating a little bit at 20 hertz um so yeah just just general idea so let's listen to the main vocal and we'll i'll keep doing that thing where i just uh turn it on turn it back off um in this case i'm just going to turn the plug-in on and off um and we'll see now with the compression what happens when we add eq so let's listen Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text her girls and that phone, yo. Put down the IG, check out the pro. Make your TikTok, you ready to go. All right, sounds pretty good, honestly. Uh, I still feel like there'd be a little bit of harshness that I'd have to take care of. I would have to use some kind of multiband EQ to try and duck those a little bit. Or, you know, for the people who are less advanced, just find that frequency and try to EQ it out with just a touch just to make it work. Um, all right, so let's do the same thing now with the proximity. Girl, let's kick it on the low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text like girls and that phone, yo. You see, it's still it's missing that life. This is where I'm gonna have to start. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some really quick um, EQ stuff. So I'm, this is one and thirty. I'm gonna have to like EQ to take out more of this low. Actually, I, I actually I'm gonna do it do it with the the dip in here. So. Girl, let's kick it on the low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text like girls and that phone, yo. Put down the IG, check out the pro. It's it's it sounds better. Um, there's just something that I don't know how to put my, my finger on it. The words I want to use, but it sounds less dynamic, less natural than I want it to. And I feel like I'm gonna have to do a lot more EQ work, like little micro, you know, movements here and there just to get it to work and do you want to do that you know you want it like this eq a ton of little frequencies it would just be better if you recorded it differently right because that's just getting the microphone right in the first place all right so now let's go to uh oh i still need the pull tech um to the side profile one and we'll eq off back on girl let's kick it on a low low can't have you with fomo can't just leave like jojo text like girls and that phone yeah it's just not getting better. <laughs> let's just move on. All right, so let's listen to the above profile. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text like girls and that phone, yo. Put down the IG, check out the pro. Make it TikTok, you ready to go. Okay, okay, so I'm definitely noticing that this EQ isn't quite working 100% for it. It's getting better, like a live. There's something that's off, okay? Um, that would be a little bit, little bit of work in there, but um, yeah, it's still, it's coming alive. And the thing I like most about, about this vocal is that I feel like it's more natural and alive. Um, and the harshness is, it's just, it's just, it's just my struggle in life. Okay. So anyways, let's go on to the below profile one and on and off again. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text on girls that phone, yo. Put down the IG, check out the pro. Make it TikTok, you ready to go. Sounds good in your face in a way. Um, I still like the above profile. Um, I'm just biased, okay? But um, if I had to work with this or the, or the above profile, I think both would work with for me again like I've said the normal uh, like the straight on the above and and the below are things the three that work the best for me um, but I, I'm, a, I'm personally gonna go with the above more times than not okay and now let's just go back one more time and let's see how much sibilance that uh, we're hitting here okay so we have this um, happening I'm gonna actually bring this back a little bit and let's just play these through and get a sense of how much sibilance uh, we are picking up by just like kind of metering this. So, girl, let's kick it on a and forgot to mute the other one. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you and forgot to turn this on. Let's do this. Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. 
can't just leave like Jojo. Text my girls and I phone, yo. Okay, so we see how much we're getting there. Now I'm gonna bring in the next one. Girl, let's kick it on the low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like Jojo. Text my girls and I phone. Can tell it just looks a little bit less than the last one and i'm using this more as i'm not saying how much sibilance i'm trying to take off i'm trying to show how much is it picking up does it look like it's picking up a little bit more or less girl let's kick it on a low low can't have you with fomo can't just leave like jojo text like girls and phone yeah that feels like it's a little bit more than the first one but in a different kind of way Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text eight girls and have phone, yo. But okay, it's a pretty it's a pretty decent amount. But in the early parts there was less sibilance, but when it got into later lyrics, there definitely was some sibilance there. Um and I think that just has to do with the that fact there's more words that had S's in them. Um, Girl, let's kick it on a low low. Can't have you with FOMO. Can't just leave like JoJo. Text on your girls that phone, yo. Put down the IG. You know, somehow this below profile one is starting to starting to win me over a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so again, we can we just get a sense of how much we have to, to, to deal with. Some of these sound like the sibilance um, from this plugin was being overly um, like it was too much, which means we could back it off. And some of them sounded more appropriate. So you're getting a sense of like how much sibilance there is by is the setting appropriate or inappropriate and how much we'd have to dial it in uh, how much we would dial it back or dial it forward um again i wasn't trying to like showcase how to remove the sibilance no that's just more about like does it look like we're hitting more often and deeper or shallower uh, you know that kind of a thing um just to to get a visual on so you can always rewind that back and then just watch it again and go like oh interesting but at the end of the day it's still your voice your voice your microphone your space right you're gonna have to experiment and work to get it right for you so overall the goal here isn't to say which position is the best position the goal is to say which position works for your voice with your microphone your space and the song that you are working on you know um just because the character of the production in the song the type of um you know instruments that are being used a different position of how you are on the microphone may actually sit better in that song so don't just be limited to one way and one way only try different things and see what works for you anyways y'all peace i'm out